tantalising sound of gypsy band music has attracted customers to the Hollis Sharda restaurant for years. It's the best known fish restaurant in the tourist town of Seged on the banks of the Tisa. In the past, Hungarian tourists have come here just to experience the house specialty, a rich fish soup made entirely of local product. Put simply, this restaurant celebrates the Tisza River. Hát azt hiszem, hogy igazából aki itt született a Tisza mellett, az uh, tudja uh, csak igazán fölmérni. Most ha én ezt azt mondom, elmondom, hogy ez a Tisza uh, Szegednek, és nem csak Szegednek, hanem, hanem Magyarország nagyon sok uh, területén élő embernek, uh, olyan, mintha a háza előtt folyna el a víz, akkor sem mondanék uh, valótlant. But these days the waiters outnumber the customers. On this Thursday night, 11 staff looked after just nine diners. Ordinarily, it would have been booked out. Hát, mint az előbb említett okok miatt, elsősorban úgy gondolom, hogy az emberek gondolkodás módjában van elültetve ez a ciános haltól való félelem, és ezért nem esznek egyet. Tehát inkább úgy mondanám, hogy egyáltalán nem esznek halat. Hát gondoltuk, hogy ennek lesz valami hatása az üzletmenetre, de hogy ekkora hatással lett volna, ezt azért, ezt azért mégsem. And neither could hundreds like him in restaurants, camping grounds and small stores all the way along the river. Any day of the week you will see Mihai Tijani cruising the waters of the Tisza River near his home, searching for a sign of life. But of course he finds nothing and probably won't for years to come, because the river is dead, killed by a torrent of cyanide and heavy metals. <laughs> Even then, those who depended on the river for their livelihood had no idea just how devastating this would prove to be. But upstream in Romania, the mining company held responsible is still in denial. There's a potential number of, uh, of mechanisms for, for the fauna mortality. Um, I think we really need to leave that up to the scientists to determine what the, what the causes were. Uh, there may be more than one cause. Uh, we have to leave it up to them. That lack of accountability annoyed the locals, but what made them really angry was the television images relayed from thousands of kilometres away in Perth, where company spokesmen put up extraordinary theories for what might have killed the fish. You get dead fish caused by uh, 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 when rainfall happens and it can be, can be due to uh, salinity changes, can be due to uh, uh, sediment in the water. Any culprit, it seemed, but cyanide. At this stage, uh, we don't see any conclusive evidence that it's due to cyanide. This is definitely, I would say, one, if not the worst environmental catastrophe which hit uh, Hungary. Uh, this river, 300 kilometers length, uh, was devastated. Wildlife, live fish, any other creatures in it exterminated. And it can be duly feared that some species which are uh, globally, internationally, and in Europe are protected and rare creatures uh, will be exterminated uh, forever. An economic as well as environmental disaster that began here, to the north, over the border in Romania. In the sprawling mining town of Bayamari, and behind the gates of Australian company Esmeralda Explorations. The gold plant here is run as a joint venture with the Romanian government. They use a cyanide solution to separate gold ore from surrounding rock. The method is entirely designed by the Australian partner. The cyanide waste is then piped six kilometres to a tailings dam outside the city. 
These days, though, the only activity going on here is the restructuring of the dam wall. Antiquated equipment is being worked overtime to raise the whole of the wall by a metre. Gary Spice is one of five Australians based permanently at Bayamati, and he was assigned to show us around. So what, just explain what happened. I mean, how, how, how did it happen? It's, uh, it's just too much snow and water. It's just, just got uh, permeated water and just gave way. And what, in the... In the Obviously in started the... as a trickle and then cascaded. There's that much volume there. And with a lot of snow in the days and weeks leading oh, up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. More snow uh, this year, the locals tell us, than uh, they've ever seen here. So what eventually uh, made, made the wall give way? The melting snow, I, I think. I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert, but it's, uh, yeah, just too much water, too much snow. That's it. But the company, facing years of litigation and possible bankruptcy, continues to dispute both the cause and the effect. There's a lot of emotion. Um, we really won't know until we get the, the results of these scientific investigations. But you can understand why there's a lot of emotion. It's a, there's a lot of livelihoods lost along the riverbanks. Uh, well, I, I can't comment on that, but um, in, until we get some firm scientific data, um, it, it's difficult to say how far it's got and, and whether there are any other influences uh, on the fauna in the, in the area. But well ahead of scientific reports, the locals are demanding a higher protective wall. This is not so much a tailings dam as a lake. Any contingency plan should be built upon the extreme what can happen. From this angle, I cannot and will never accept that it was rain, much, much rain, which caused this accident. If there are standards, protection, technologies, that should be prepared for and worked out for preempting and preventing any kind of extreme situation which might lead to or which might cause environmental damage. This is totally and fully unacceptable. Romania is the poorest country in Europe. Jobs, any jobs, are desperately sought. And even then, an unskilled worker will earn no more than $40 a week. To own a horse and a crude cart is beyond the capacity of most people here in Bayamati. Little wonder that the deputy mayor, Yusuf Senislau, was almost apologetic when defending the city's environmental standards. Uh, uh, no, I Primăria Baia Mare, o prioritizare a problemelor uh, care îi preocupă uh, pe concetățenii noștri, în sensul cum că uh, primul lucru i-a interesat uh, construirea de locuințe. Adevărul este că în Baia Mare sunt locuințe, doar că locuințele gratuite nu sunt în posesia celor care ar dori lucrul acesta. It's against that background that Esmeralda has been accused of exploiting Romania's poverty and its substandard environmental laws. I don't agree with that at all. The environmental laws here are, are, are very strict. They're based on the uh, European laws. Um, they're as tough as uh, the environmental laws in Australia. You would never know it walking the streets of Bayamati. This display took place right outside Esmeralda's front gate. The people here learn to live with pollution and choose housing based on the prevailing winds. All this troubles an emerging country like Hungary. Hungary is geographically situated in a basin situation, which just means that all the countries which are around, east, north, west, are kind of sending their rivers and waters into Hungary. From Romania, uh, over the past decade, something like three or four uh, pollution uh, hit the river system. They were far from being, to this extent, uh, like this, a catastrophe. Két három utóbbi vás nagyon jó sikerült, ami ami már legalább 25 éve nem volt olyan ami ami most volt. Úgy harcsába pont volt, tehát a nemes halak, a harcsa pont sülő és hát kecsege. Egyaránt nagyon sok hal volt most a 
a folyóba. Mihai has been fishing these waters professionally for nine years. This year was going to be his best. Imagine his horror when word spread that a deadly cocktail of cyanide and heavy metals was headed his way. When it did arrive, all he could do was join his colleagues and clear the river of tons of dead fish. És azóta viszket a szemem, nekem soha nem viszket egy egyik szemem se, azóta folyamatosan viszket. Nem tudom, gondolom csak az válthatta ki, hát most az... These days Mihai feels restless and helpless. Fishing is his life. He has no other job prospects. All the money that he had was invested in the industry. Mihai wants to give his family some hope, constantly searching for alternatives. Munkát meg, meg, amit mondtam is, hogy a tisztának a visszaállítása, a helyreállítása, ugye hát én szerintem minőkülünk, ez lehetetlen. Ez, ez, ez csinálni kell. És már, már kellene csinálni, már indítani kellene a dolgokat. Minél hamarabb hagy haladjon. Hát csak annyira, hogy egy fillér bevétel, csak amit én kapok a gyerekek után, a családi pótlék meg a gyes. Egyik 17 ezer forint, másik meg 15 ezer forint. Ebből élünk öten. Mm. És miért kell vezetni azokkal? Hát persze. Telefon, család, a, mi van még? Vigaj számra, a vízdi, minden. Úgyhogy ez nagyon váratlan ért bennünket ez a, ez a mérez. Ez. Én nem is akartam elhívni, hogy ez ilyen van. While the fishermen are destitute, those in the tourism industry are marginally better off. Certainly they faced reduced income, but at least they can turn to more creative ways of doing business. Most értem ez alatt azt, hogy akkor a halat kevésbé fogjuk szorgalmazni, kevesebb halat fogunk eladni, és ezt figyelembe véve természetesen egy más jellegű étlapot fogunk a vendég elé rakni. De kevesebb hal, több más típusú, más nyersanyag alapú ételeket fogunk akkor árulni. The very next day, Desu suffered the embarrassment of exactly that. He was chosen to prepare Seged's customary dish at an annual get-together of Hungary's mayors. For the first time, Seged did not offer fish from the Tisza River. Everywhere you look, this city is finding new ways to cope. This fish farm on the outskirts of town is an exporter of freshwater fish the second largest in Hungary. Now, twice a week, it sells directly to the locals, right at the farm itself, so that they know they are getting fish free of cyanide. In the same spirit, the management tried to save some of the rare species of protected birds in the region. Felajánlotta a halászatunk azokat a kis testű halakat, amiket aztán kihelyeztünk a tópartjára, kihelyeztünk a Tiszához, és azokat fogyasztva az állatok megmaradtak, megkímélte őket a ciámérgezés. Back on the cold, lifeless Tisza River, Mihai has a more basic plan for the mine management. Először is avval kezdtem volna, hogy egy jó ciános halászlevet csináltam volna itt neki a parton, Jó, megetettem volna vele. Ha még az se segített volna, akkor utána köttem volna a ladiknak, az húztam volna, vagy három kilométert a vízen. Nyakánál kötélen, úgyhogy hogy biztos legyen a dolog. Ennyit is tudok neki üzenni. Többet nem. The conservative estimates say that life could or may be returned to the river in five to six years. Full restoration of the vigility and the pristine surrounding of this river will probably, however, sadly, only come uh, in a longer span, in a decade or so. 
Yes, there is a lot of emotion surrounding this issue, and there ought to be. Thankfully, so far no lives have been lost, but a lot of lives have been ruined.